Hello everybody, Roboyo here, and welcome back to Roboyo Plays Super Mario World on game mode. And uh, yes, we are going to start off with Cheese Bridge 1. Cheese Bridge 1. And this is a level that used to give me quite a bit of trouble. But I'm hoping things are gonna go a bit better this time. Because, boy, did I get angry at this level. Whew. Oh boy. That's, I think that's the jump that used to kill me the most, so. Oh yes, and uh, since we hit the, uh, the red switch a few episodes ago, that, uh, red, those red blocks are there. Not quite out of it yet. That was another jump that used to, uh... Nope. Gosh dang it. Let's try this again, shall we? <coughs> anyway, so yes, welcome. I'm actually going to be posting videos on game mode again, so that's happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, news, news. Okay. So apparently that's how I'm... That's how I am destined to make that jump. So we just go under the turtles. And we're back here, once again. Hello, my friends. And you gotta, oof. I failed that one. Oof. I guess I'm not getting that power up, hey. <laughs> Whew. Sorry, this level is giving me a heart attack slightly. Oh boy. Let's do it. Tranquil like a forest, but a fire within. Yes! Goalpost! 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 Rawr. Oh boy! I'm glad that level only took me two tries. Now that we're done with that, it's... Oh, that wasn't Cheese Bridge, that was Butter Bridge. My apologies. I get a cape feather from that guy. Gonna be needing it. Oh, I remember, I remember this level. I remember this level. This is quite the level. So the <coughs> What I was going to say is... So the whole trick for this level is that, um, while you're... While you're making your way through it, uh, casually... Obvious, uh, whatever these things are, I used to have all the enemy names memorized, but uh, obviously I do not anymore. Whatever these darn flying things are, they appear in uh, different set patterns, specifically specifically designed to uh, make people's lives miserable. Uh, this is a scientific fact, and can in fact be proven. For instance, all of this, and that, and this, this, and that, and this, and that, and this, this, and that. I like it, I like it! Uh, 10 out of 10 if you get that reference. No one's gonna get that reference. Literally no one. Uh, 
and I'm just going to look stupid. Oh boy. Sorry if uh, my commentary is slightly less than the, uh, the very high standard that you would expect from Roboio on game mode, but uh, there's this thing about let's playing where if you stop doing it for extended periods of time, you forget how to let's play. <laughs> and that's exactly what I've done. I have stopped commentating for an extended period of time, and therefore I've forgotten how to commentate and how to let's play. Let's consult how to basic. No, just kidding. Let's not ever. Why is there a fish in the toilet? You've got to be kidding me. You've... Are you kidding me right meow? As my friend Matt from school would say! Whew! Oh boy! Halfway point. And surprisingly enough, these guys, even though they have red capes, uh, do not drop feathers when you stomp on them. Thanks, Nintendo. Thanks, Nintendo Obama. I don't know anymore. Nintendo Obama. Oh my god, Nintendo Obama. So yeah. These guys are now here to make your life miserable. Oh boy. It's your boy! <coughs> well then. <laughs> what is man? Okay, now that we're done with possibly two of the most stressful levels in this entire game, I'm going to talk to you all for a few seconds as I go back to the uh, top secret area to get Cape Feather. I'm going to do this every once in a while just to uh, put it in perspective how more and more inconvenient this top secret area becomes as you progress through the game. Uh, also, just for added realism, I'm going to... I'm going to... Dang it, burps. I'm going to grind two lives to get myself back up to ten. Because, I mean, being at a... Because I would just grind one to get up to nine. Because, you know, then my lives would be on an odd number, consensually. I don't know if you heard me say that the first time, because my headset got disconnected for a split second. I don't even know how that's going to sound in the video. It'll sound like something. Why am I, go <laughs> Why am I going through this place? I don't, I don't want to replay any of these levels. Um, now, here's the big question. Since I have a Yoshi, I will do the... Since I have a Yoshi, I will do the secret exit for Cheese Bridge. Also, for future reference, if you ever hear me, like, repeat anything like that, it's because my headset cut out roughly around the time that I said it the first time. So I'm just saying it again for, like, a safety measure. <laughs> because my headset is wireless. And most of the time, it's pretty awesome. Not guess Not guess uh, how 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 do English? <laughs> Most of the time it's pretty cool and it doesn't disconnect often, but uh when it does, it'll it does every once in a while. <laughs> and you know our strategy for this place. Da -da -da. 
Aha, magic. And you get your little, nice little three up moon. Which, uh, yeah, three up moons. Three up moons are cool. I wish you could see them more often. <coughs> I really like, in all seriousness, they need to, like, bring three up moons back. So, real talk here, I had a failed recording of this, uh, in which I spent like half an hour on that Soda Lake level. So I think right now I'm going to hedge my bets and just go for this uh, Ludwig's Castle here. Which, uh, fun fact, this is my favorite, my favorite boss in this game, Ludwig von Koopa. First of all, because, you know, L Ludwig von Koopa, how can you not like the guy? Big frack, I was taking a bath. Don't. Never, never forget. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's always cutting that close right there. Now I believe if we go here, there's power up. Oh, someone just sent something on Skype. Brilliant. Sent a uh, file. I wonder what file. Did they send the X files? That's what I get for making that joke. <coughs> In other news, <laughs> it is uh, currently 9 o'clock at night. Which feels really weird playing video games at 9 o'clock at night for me. Because normally <laughs> 9 o'clock is like that magical, magical time where all electronics whatsoever get shut off. Because, uh, I wake up at like 5 in the clock. Did I just... Can he do that? He can't do that. Can he do that? I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I do not wake up at 5 in the clock, but that would be... that would also be... acceptable. But, uh, I wake up at 5 in the morning every day to, uh, get my little... my little self off to school. And, uh, And so normally I just, I have everything off by, like, nine, so then I can, uh, be in bed at around, around 9.30, something like that. And, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna try and go for it. I know that there's a uh, checkpoint somewhere around here. Holy crap. It's a good thing I don't need to be big to defeat this boss. So you do that. And that's one of the reasons this boss is so cool. It's... I don't know why I like this boss so much. I just do. I think part of it is the whole, like, 3D shell animation thing.
That was like a big thing back when this came out. Anyway, same as always, three stomps on the head, don't get hit by the whatever they're throwing at you. Uh, and he goes down pretty easily, yeah. So that is my favorite boss in this game. I also love that animation. Ludwig von Cooper's days of composing Cooper symphonies in the castle number four are over. The forest of illusion lies ahead. Mario must use his brain to solve the puzzle of this perplexing forest. More next time. Hun! <coughs> what did I even? Okay, since that let me save. Specifically because that let me save. Let's. <laughs> so the last time we were at what? 32? And now we're at 41. So, in the past, like, what, two episodes, we've done nine goals. Yeah, pretty decent, actually. Anyway. Next time on Super Mario World!